Tim, yes, uh, Alcoa releasing their quarterly profit, first quarterly profit in a year, and some big news because this was uh, kind of coming unexpected for the third quarter. Alcoa benefiting from improving metal prices, and they also saved money by cutting jobs and raw material costs. Alcoa has posted losses in the past three quarters and has cut 18,000 jobs over the past months, over the past 12 months through June. And it was difficult to know where the markets would end up in today's session. We saw the major averages fluctuating throughout most of the day. Real estate firms, also home builders, taking the biggest hit on speculation that Congress won't extend the tax credit for first-time home buyers. Pulte Homes and also KB Homes declining after Georgia Bank saying that housing stocks will drop if lawmakers do not extend that $8,000 tax credit when it expires in November. And Exxon falling along with other energy stocks after an Energy Department report showed a bigger than forecast gain in supplies of gasoline. Crude oil in New York also falling $1.27 a barrel to close at $69.61 a barrel. And in fact, we've been in this range with crude oil from $65 to $75 since August the 1st, so a pretty tight range there. Also, some other news from the oil field. ConocoPhillips said it plans to sell $10 billion of assets over the next two years to improve its financial position and strengthen its balance sheet. They also increased their quarterly dividend by 6% to $0.50 cents a share. And AT&T leading those telecom stocks lower on the day. Telecom stocks, the biggest drags in the S&P 500. This was after AT&T and a reversal of policy saying it will let iPhone customers use Internet phone services such as Skype on some airwaves as regular wireless uh, as uh, as regular wireless calls do as well. And that's just going to make it cheaper and more convenient for some of those Internet Internet based calls. And after the closing bell, of course, we heard about Alco. We do have uh, that stock rising in after hours trading. And of course, tomorrow we do have uh, a few more earnings to tell you about. In fact, Alcoa moving up five percent so far in in the after hour session. Tomorrow we get Marriott and also PepsiCo releasing their earnings. That's it from here, Pim. Now back to you in the studio.